When reviewing a life insurance contract with a policy owner and insured, producers should take the time to go over the insuring agreement in the policy. This is basically the carrier's promise to pay the benefits cited in the policy if the death is a covered one. Remember that the policy owner has control over certain policy terms while the insured is alive. The entire contract provision governs the coverage under the policy, and it includes the policy, the application, and any riders that have been added to the contract. If it is not attached to and made part of the entire contract of insurance, it doesn't count. If a policy lapses because the premium hasn't been paid, there are differences in the outcome between permanent and term contracts. A permanent policy can be reinstated, but term policies don't allow reinstatement. Most people want to reinstate their policies because they can afford to pay the premium, but carriers are often wary of this due to adverse selection concerns. This means they'll always ask for health proof if someone wants to reinstate a policy. Term policies aren't reinstated, they're rewritten, and reinstating a term policy provides no benefit to the insured. Remember that permanent policies are based on the original age of the insured, and reinstating a permanent policy also reinstates the original age at which it was issued. The lesson also considered what happens if a person's age or gender is misstated on the application. Remember, those misstatements can't cancel out a policy. Instead, the insurance company is only allowed to adjust the benefit or the premium. We then began studying exclusions and how they might affect coverage under a policy. Most people think suicide is never covered under a life insurance contract, but you learn that carriers are limited to two years as to how long they can exclude payments for suicide. This section finished with information about medical exams and autopsy potential after a client has died. If a carrier wants any kind of medical examination, the insurer pays for them. This includes autopsies. Remember that the purpose of backdating is to save the age of the insured to the age prior to their latest birthday. And the maximum period an application may be backdated is six months. And the premium for the backdated period must be collected for the backdating to apply.